In a small town down in Arkansas Where the river flows There's a man with a passion That everybody knows Howdy, howdy everybody. Welcome to HT's EDC. Coming at you from the back patio. And look, let's back up a little bit. This takes a lot to get in a frame. It's the it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Ah, I could say that you can't. Uh, don't laugh at that. But uh, we got the abs here. It is game day. First day. Uh, this is my folks. Let's back up. This is my second favorite Saturday of the year, uh, and it is uh, topped only by the opening Saturday, Saturday of gun season for white-tailed deer. But outside of that, the opener week one for college football is numero uno for me. So we are excited today. And uh, for you folks that are not college football fans, I will try to not linger too much on the football aspect and we'll get on to the EDC stuff, the knife stuff that you come to know and love by me. That's not going anywhere. We are still going to multitask through not only football season, but in here in another month or so when deer season gets here, there is still going to be content, rest assured. It might, it might have to scale back and be moved here, there, you know, different windows when I upload, but trust me, these, uh, sneak peek there, these are still a uh, number one passion. So, get rid of some of my game day stash right here for uh for any of you surgeon generals that was uh that was sunflower seeds spit sunflower seeds that was not a wad of tobacco but if it was i'd be okay too uh so we have a little bit of extra totage today uh some of y'all saw that in my what you toting video well we'll go back to that we already showed we have about a third eh, might be more of a quarter now we've been working on these a quarter of a bag of ranch sunflower seeds uh, that will there is re replenishments uh, we're gonna need more of those today and as far we going we're going to caffeinate highly today because we're gonna start watching football oh probably 11 uh, about another four or five hours here and we probably won't stop till uh, 11 or 12 tonight uh, I love it so we have the cup of joe nice and full there's more uh in the house warm right now and we are funneling it with dr pepper and this is not dr pepper zero this is dr pepper by the way uh, they do not sponsor me uh and if they did uh, they would go to michael richter a lot before me because he is mr dr pepper and he should have had a sponsorship a long time ago, but it is an ever delicious drink. And we're on the real stuff today. No zero sugar. We are caffeinating to the fullest. Uh, we will think about making better choices tomorrow on Sunday. And then pro football will be starting in a couple of weeks. So we'll probably make poor choices Saturday and Sunday, but I digress. What else? Uh, you've already seen the wallet. Uh, you've seen the pocket cross. Uh, loving that, uh, Brother Dwayne Clark. That is a new staple in the front left pocket. Uh, okay. And, uh, yeah. One more time, if there is any question who I root for, it is the you. You have probably seen me. All of my perceptive fans have seen these two bracelets. They are on me year-round. Don't know that they will come up in the video, but that says it is all about the U, the University of Miami. I am originally from Florida, spent my first 35 years of my natural born life down there. I am a transplant to Arkansas, but uh, this is where I grew up a Kane fan and uh, I will they will bury me <laughs> a Kane, pan, Kane fan. So you fellers of the orange will probably like me for the next, uh, let's see, three or four months, hopefully, playing on into January, if we get that lucky. But uh, you will see a lot more orange, uh, on, orange and green on my attire. 
Okay, how'd I do? Four minutes, almost five minutes of pretty much college football. Sorry, folks. On to the totes today, and we have a good one. We are going to first talk leather, and we are going to talk a new piece that I have absolutely... This is absolutely going to probably change the game for me. Uh, I... Well, let's back up in a second. You guys saw this one. It came in uh, about a week ago, maybe a week and a half. Yeah, about a week ago. Uh, maybe a little over. And it was uh, a slider sheath from for my Buck 112s that I entasked Brother... Uh, and actually, I made a mistake. This isn't the slider sheath. <laughs> Some of y'all may have go ahead, have caught that. I was a bonehead. It was dark. This is the vertical sheath. But honestly, it looks just like this. It almost looks just like this for my 112. But on the back, it has this. And this is a slider sheath. So in the dark this morning, your, yours truly was excited. It's game day. And I picked up the horizontal sheath, which are absolutely fantastic. But anyway, just think of this, the front side of this, with the back side of this for a belt instead of the vertical. We are horizontal. So, got one for a 112. Probably coming up, I will task uh, Brother Ed with a buck 110 because you get me fixed up with a buck 112, a buck 110, and now these folding hunters, man, I at least folks for the next oh goodness probably into march uh gene season it's fixing to get it's going to cool off here hopefully sooner than later uh in the stone and we're going to be going to pants blue jeans camo hopefully if, uh, if my health uh holds up and i can get out there some but britches nevertheless and we are going to have something like this on our hip and this is let me see if I get the letters around there where y'all can read it. It says Hunter, and I told him, I told Ed, I said, go crazy with it. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can put colors on it. I don't need my name this time. I want the word Hunter. My only thing was write Hunter on there, so because I plan on having a several of these up on my dresser, and I can run over there, and I could just look, which this one's a little longer anyway. Probably wouldn't have that hard a time. But I can quickly see the word hunter and know, bada bing, that's my, here's my sheath for any of the folding hunters that I'm going to be wearing, like, uh, yeah, all the time uh, upcoming soon. So, of course, Ed <laughs> puts me some extra deer tracks. He knows I'm also, this hunter, in my mind, was for to designate these, which is coming up soon, a folding hunter uh, knife pattern. But yes, I am a hunter of these little things here with these little tracks all over this, deer tracks. I am a deer hunter, so it works any way you go with it. And uh, yeah, and he actually told me, and I don't know how, <laughs> only he knows, he said he actually beefed this up from his normal sliders or his normal vertical sheaths for me, made it extra tough. Okay, uh, Ed, buddy i think outside of a act of god uh your sheaves are made extremely tough and without an act of god or there could be an accident yes i'm i'm not crazy you could be right you know on your mule your four wheel your atv and this snag on a limb or something just right and rip something rip a snap outside of something unforeseen ed stuff is built like fort knox here you go, Ed. Here you go, HT. Talking about Ed and the legacy knives. Yep. I'm unapologetic. Uh, if you like, folks, I'm, it's just, just the truth. If you like these, if you like Buck 112s, you like Buck 110s, you like folding hunter style knives, or if you like them for deer season. Maybe these ain't for you, you know, short season when it's hot as blazes like it currently is. I get it. But if there's a season that you carry a knife like this, there should not be a season you don't carry this because they're the best in the game. I said it. I stand on it. 
Uh, maybe that makes some people mad. And it's my opinion. It is my opinion. Don't let it make you mad. You put your sheath in my hand and I try it and it's better than Ed's. I'll come on here and say, you know what? This is as good or better than Ed Costas. Uh, for a buck 110 or buck 112, I come, I've carried these style of knives my entire knife carrying life, which goes back into my early 20s. None mow better. Damn, it, it just, there, you cannot get a better sheath for these style knives. You just can't. Uh, and he said he made this one extra tough. Uh, Ed, what did you do? I, I see some kind of little extra, I don't know if those are little glue divots or what, that you did up here on your, on the uh, termination of your stitching up here. Is that what it is? Did you use a heavier, well, and there's some more of those, or I see there's two more down here, maybe giving away your trade secrets. I'll shut up, I don't know. Did he use a heavier gauge thread on this? I don't know. But folks, these things are tougher than freaking a $2 steak. Tougher than $2 steaks. Uh, so if he made this tougher and he said, you know, HT, get out there in the field with it, give it heck, get in that brush, all kind of weather, you know, snow. We don't get a lot of snow here in South Arkansas. It's a pleasant thing when we, once or twice a year, we do get some and we don't get any some years. Uh, so that's always a fun thing, but we do, uh, deer season is wet. Uh, it is some or more of our rainier months. We do get some some sleet. We get elements. And he said, get out there amongst it, HD. Put this through the paces and tell me what you think. And that's fair. I have not done that. Can I, you know, I have not done that. Could this thing fall completely apart uh, when I get out there and get it soaked or get it saturated or something? No. But it could. I mean, it's not, but sure. I have not tested it yet, so I cannot, and I'm not saying what this one uh, does in the field. By mistake, <laughs> me grabbing this vertical one, I can tell you what this will do in the field because this was in my pocket last year in deer season. Season, okay? Those elements, that rain, did we get snow last year? I can't remember. Uh, if we did, it was maybe one day. There is, and it's a little more pliable. I don't know if y'all can tell that. Uh, it's broke in well. Folks, look at those stitches. You see, do you see the first broken stitch? They're double stitched, just immaculately, evenly, all the way down. Uh, do you see any stitching unraveling? If you do, call me out in my video. HD, right there in the middle, there's stitching. You don't. This has been, and this ain't been five, 10 years, you know. This has been all season last year, and I carried the B Jesus out of this Buck 112 last year. So this scene is seen, and not just deer season. I carry this freaking Buck 112 is my favorite knife. I carry this sheath all the time, and I carried it a lot in those elements I'm talking about last year. It looks brand new. It smells brand new. I didn't expect anything less. And if you get one, you'll see what I'm talking about. Four, five, six different people now, content creators that are talked to you guys on here on the fellow channels have listened to me, uh, took a chance on Ed, heard me, meh, 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 Ed Costa, Legacy Knives, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, meh, meh, meh. Okay, HT, we're, we, I like a buck 110. I got some buck 112s. I'm going to try you out. They have came back on this thing right here and told you the same thing. So don't take my word, you don't have to just take my word for it. These things are, yeah. Anywho, moving on. Got a new knife to go in new sedge horizontal slider folding hunter sheath, it is awesome. This came in the mail. Oh yeah, we have another OG, Mike, Mike over at Making Cutlery Great Again just turned off his TV. HT with another folding hunter, oh my God. Sorry, Mike, uh, I love them and uh, there are gonna be more of them, I can't help it. Uh, sorry, not sorry. But 
anyway we got another and i call the 25 og you've heard me talk about the og the 77 ot me and aaron uh god bless you buddy uh buddy up there still praying for you i love you uh aaron up at 865 we call the 77 ot um oh god muskrat the og muskrat it is just a historical uh pattern and the 77 ot goes way back and it we just call it the quintessential 77 ot the quintessential muskrat I got to go old timer again when I talk about my folding hunters and I'm going to make a lot of you case case people. I shouldn't make you mad because folks, it is one a and it is one B. Uh, I break the tie that my favorite folding hunter, I go with the, the old timer with the Schrade style because of this blade. It just, the Skinner blade has just a unique curve. A little more curve, a little more swoop than the 627. Uh, folding Hunter from Case. I love both of them. Love, love, love. And they go back just as far. I mean, we're talking years. Which one came out first? I'm not sure. To me, when I think old school, I think of this one, the 25 OT, but I love the 62, 65 almost equally. And if I have to break a tie, I break the tie simply because of the, uh, I think this blade here, thousand percent personal preference. is just a little slightly cooler blade shape on the Skinner blade. That's just me, but we are not talking leaps and bounds. I love, love, love love freaking love the 62 65 folding hunter from case uh that bone that stabilized or excuse me stabilized wood jigged wood uh from the 60s and 70s they put on there is just it, awesome it's held up it is it looks good it's that uh reddish brown that we talk about on here just a gorgeous color uh and here we have the good old saw cut delrin uh, from old timer some of you guys don't like Delrin. I love well done Delrin. Let me repeat, well done Delrin, because there's good and bad. There's, there's good and bad G10, there's good and bad Micarta, there is good and bad uh, Delrin, and there is good and bad the uh, Faux Stag, the Stagalon, the Staghorn, some of the better names, you know, the Faux Stag. All that ain't created equal either. My opinion, uh, old timer, Schrade old timer, this saw cut Delrin. I can get it up there and y'all can see those lines. I don't know, but y'all y'all know the saw cut Delrin. We have lines just going all the way down here. It's very small saw cuts in this. It is done awesome. So anyway, not gonna harp on this knife. It has a clipboard clip point blade it has a skinner blade as a secondary they are both four inches long this is a monstrosity it is five and a quarter inches closed it is a hoss it is beefy bold ridiculous maybe you, you guys say i'm used to it i love it i run them in these sheaves and i, I think nothing of it uh, and i'm going to carry this day why are you carrying something on a college football day like this there is a reason stay with me here I kind of am the resident veggie cutter over on game day and, well, not game days and just regular Friday nights. We have a lot of sometimes uh, salads that need to be cut up. I know y'all are looking at me now. Salad HD. You, salad. Yeah, yeah, you can make a case I should eat more of it. But, yeah, I cut it up anyway. I don't eat enough of it. But, yeah, cut up the cucumbers, the tomatoes, the onions. So I have learned to take a capable slicing. Sometimes it's a big open L, like an open L number nine or open L number 10, or I just go grab one of my awesome folding hunters. This thing is a slicing machine. So yes, I'm carrying this honking thing over to game day. Yes, I'm carrying this honking thing on my person, on my belt. And uh, if I'm asked, called into duty today to do some food prep, I am your huckleberry. So anyway, like I said, we're not going to beat this to death. Mike's, Mike, uh, 
Mike Yarl, it's long gone, but uh, <laughs> there's no need. Uh, it has a clip point, it has a Skinner blade, it's massive. Uh, this is carbon steel. We'll just tell you the components. We've told you what the handle is. Nickel silver bolsters. These are good old carbon steel blade. Uh, got a little bit of teeners on this one. Just got this one in. Uh, I think this has never been sharpened. It was like new old stock, but it, it came and I even got the OG sheath in there. I should have brought it out, uh, but I wanted to show off what it's really going to ride in from now on. But it had sat in that sheath for who knows, 15, 20 years and the blades got some little bit of graying patina on both blades. I polished it lightly, I don't care. Of course, I polished the back springs, got all the brass looking good, and uh, that little teener on there. I'm gonna, if I go cut tomatoes, onions, and everything today, I was gonna have that on there anyway, so why screw up, you know, lose my mind over there trying to get that off when it's gone. I'm gonna enjoy putting it right back on. So, anyway, 20 minute mark. Sorry, uh, non-football fans, I tried to go uh, fast on that, and I tried not to harp, the death, harp to death on the uh, 25 OT. Uh, you've seen it before. You'll probably see it again. We love you. Go Canes today. Beat those stinky, smelly, rotten, no good, filthy, I don't know, is there anything else? Adjectives. Gators. It's going to be an interesting day today. I'm going over to my best friend's house, and guess what he is? We're both originally from Florida. I'm a cane. He is a gator. And we have this has been circled on the schedule for a year, a couple, three years now, when this came out, that the gators and canes were playing each other again, a home-and-home home series. Sorry, Tim School of Fish. I know he's a big Florida gator fan. Somebody's going to be very upset uh, tomorrow on uh it could be me on this morning video. It could be a glooming doom tomorrow. But it's going to be an interesting day over at my best friend's house today because uh, that house will be plastered uh, in blue and orange uh, because I, I'll probably be the only one over there going with the old uh, orange and green. But uh, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow I might even do a victory cigar. I got a cool cigar in. That reminds me from one of my viewers. You know who you are, David, another David. I'm saving that cigar, buddy, in good faith. I'm hoping that is a victory cigar. And we will go over that whole, I got a care package uh, in from one of my viewers and it was next level. But a cigar was one of them. Uh, and I'm saving that cigar, buddy. I'm hoping it's a victory cigar. So anyway. God bless you. We love you. See you on the next one. Look, knives gleaming under that old porch light. He'll tell their stories deep into the night. Reviews and torture tests. It's a sight to see.